Good morning and welcome to the last day of July. That's Friday the 31st of July. Today our man of God would like to share a message entitled His Power, Glory and Righteousness. Our opening scripture is from the book of Psalms chapter 63 verses 1 to 2 and I read, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, my soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Hallelujah! Even though the glory of God and the power of God are interchangeably used in scripture sometimes, they are not exactly the same. For example, when Moses was asked of the Lord to talk to the rock, what God wanted was for his glory to be manifested. But Moses rather struck the rock and God's power was manifested. However, from God's response to Moses, we know he wasn't pleased because he reprimanded Moses by saying, You did not glorify me before the people. You may look up the book of Numbers chapter 20 verses 11 to 12. So, here is the point. The glory is greater than the power because the glory includes not only the power of God, but also the grace and righteousness of God. The glory of God, actually, is the term that encapsulates all of his splendor and his righteousness. He manifests his righteousness in his glory. His power is manifested through us to accomplish his purpose. Nonetheless, the power could be abused as Paul indicates in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 18. What is my reward then? Verily that. When I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. Thus, it is possible for someone to misuse the power of God, but you can never misuse the glory of God. Always, what God wants is for us to manifest His glory. And to do that, you have to walk in His grace and in His righteousness as well. They go all together. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer after me. Thank you, Lord, for you have made me a light in a dark world. And my light shines everywhere. I impact my world not only with your power, but with your glory, righteousness, wisdom, and love today and always. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, today, kindly take some time to read these following scriptures in order for you to further understand today's message. From the book of John, chapter 2, verse 11. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 13b. And from the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, preferably the Amplified Classic Version. Hallelujah! As usual, my brothers and sisters, what do we do next? We shine the light to the people in our world by simply forwarding this video to them and let them shine the light into their world. Hallelujah! Tune in again tomorrow as we step into a beautiful month of August. Till then, you are abundantly blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, 
for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.